minutes and 30 seconds of flight time. He can see the coast, but he says he can't identify any points. He's come back up into retro attitude. The retro sequence is beginning to start. has about 10 seconds before he comes up. Exercising manual control and firing the retro rockets himself, we have confirmation in the control center of the firing of all three retro rockets. This is a successful retro rocket sequence done all manually. Alan Shepard here in the control center, carrying on a running conversation with Gus Grissom. Gus Grissom reports he's changing over to the rate command system in his attitude control. We are now running a radio check on high frequency radio. not receiving a very good voice signal at this time. It's very difficult to read. Six, 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 seventeen into the flight. We are not receiving very good voice communications at this time. However, our instrumentation here indicates A-OK. -okay. Now we have the voice communications back again. We're reading him loud and clear on ultra high frequency. He is now moving the spacecraft into re-entry attitude. And this is a calm, cool, collected, business-like pilot. He has brought his spacecraft around into re-entry attitude, that is with the big bell shape beginning to point down. System is uh, okay. Systems. Systems, and Gus advises that because the sun is coming in through his window so brightly, he is somewhat uh, limited in his ability to make out any landmarks. Roger. Gus says, I feel very good, and he just reported on the status of his fuel system. Altitude 40 nautical miles. be getting some of the re-entry activity at this time. Well, Gus says, okay, everything is looking good. Going into re-entry, uh, Sergeant. He has introduced a roll rate, and that's like the rifle, the rifle bullet coming out of the barrel of a gun. And we're still reading Gus Grissom loud and clear. He's reporting a G. He reported nine. He reported ten. He reported up to ten G. He is still coming in loud and clear here. He is at 65,000 feet now on his way down. 50,000 feet, and Gus says, I'm feeling good. 45,000 feet, and clear. He sounds mighty good. Flight surgeon reports that Gus Grissom came through the high G-forces of re-entry in A-OK -okay condition. to be losing voice communication now. Loud and clear here. He is at 65,000 feet now on his way down. 
50,000 feet, and Gus says, I'm feeling good. 45,000 feet, and we're reading him loud and clear. He sounds mighty good. Flight surgeon reports that Gus Grissom came through the high G-forces of re-entry in A-OK -okay condition. We appear to be losing voice communication now. We are attempting to make voice contact at this time. Our instrumentation still indicates everything A-OK, -okay, and it's not unusual to lose voice contact at this point. We have a, an indication in the control center that the drogue parachute has deployed. However, we have not gotten a confirmation from the pilot. Uh, I now hear the pilot again. He has confirmed that the Drogue parachute is out, and he has a visual observation of it. And as the spacecraft comes down now, we have a main chute deployment indication. from the Atlantic Ocean ship, and they are apparently in very solid contact with him. And Gus Grissom is talking to the Atlantic Ocean ship. that I have not been talking, but I've been straining to try and hear the conversation between Gus Grissom and the Atlantic tracking ship. And 
Gus Grissom reports his parachute descent normal. All systems on board appear to be A-OK. -okay. And this cool pilot is now reading down a checklist as he begins to secure his cockpit for landing. He's going through some clouds at 2,000 feet on the way down. Sure. 